Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Mosaic Football, 20 box blaster edition, full case break, pick your team number 28. No vet common ship. And if you bought at least two teams, you got a chance at the Bengals. Hopefully everyone followed those instructions. Let's see who did. Or maybe some people didn't want the Bengals. I don't know. But if you bought two, there you go. Ben Marlowe did. That's an entry. Bob got two teams. That's an entry. Daniel has four teams. That's two entries. James with two teams. The last two teams got two entries. Jay with two teams. That's an entry. Karen with two teams. That's an entry. Michael Gallucci got eight teams. That's four entries for a chance at the Bengals. Nancy got two teams. That's an entry. Ryan Ryder got two teams. That's an entry. And Steve Birch, two teams, one entry. It's 14 spots there. And the spot on top after four and a one, five times. The Packers just got an interception. Four and a one, five times. Team on top, Bengals. One, two, three, four. And fifth and final time. After five, it's Jay Kinney. Four and a one, five times. After five, you get the Bengals. Congrats. Now let's alphabetize this by team right here. And let's print and rip. Good luck. All right, there it is. Mosaic Football, current draft class, blaster edition. Choice break coming up after this. That's all that after the blaster case. This is going to take a little time, but kick back and relax with us. And we'll uh, let's see what we got in here. We got five rows of four. Nope, five, four rows of five. There's five there, there's five there, there's five there. And that makes 20 right there. Who does everyone have in tonight's uh, Thursday Night Football matchup here? It's uh, Green Bay Packers at San Francisco. San Francisco is just decimated. Not only with just injuries, but uh, not only with injuries, but with like COVID cases and whatnot. For a choice, well, let's let's fill up those breaks first, and then we'll worry about whether there's more or not. What if I said no? Then would you? Whatever the answer is, that'll make you buy more spots. That's the answer. No, I think we'll we should have a couple more breaks after that. Packers are up seven to three, and they just got a. They just got. They just picked off Nick Mullen. I would think that the Packers would should should cruise to victory. Let me open up a few of these boxes at a time. Kyle says, hopefully the Packers win. Got him minus seven. They should be able to, Kyle, don't you think? I, di I didn't have a specific play on this game. I think my... I kind of do some power rankings, and I think the, the number was should have been minus seven. Seven if everybody was healthy, but maybe that's a good deal with everyone not healthy on on the Niners. No Jimmy G. Nick Mullins being thrown out there. I mean, how many how many players have actually are active for the Niners? I mean, they they gotta they gotta tire out by the fourth quarter, right? Aaron Jones looks like he's healthy, and if he just keeps keeps running around and making runs like that, he just that's like an eleven yard carry right there. 
Yeah, Nick's thinking they got to be win by at least seven or more. Yeah, no, yeah, no Kittle as well. What about uh? Anyone have any thoughts on any of the other games this week? Anyone have any any games that they that they really like? Aaron Jones is just cruising through this Niners defense at the moment. A couple more here. Make myself a little room here on the table. For my, I'm a Raiders fan. Raiders have a have a fun divisional matchup today. Raiders at Chargers. Sean Jaspi who you see often on late nights. Sean Jaspi's a Chargers fan. We've got a, a, a lunch bet on the line. Loser of the matchup buys lunch. I'm feeling good. And it's just a straight up pick. And I think this the, the spread might just be pick them too. I like, the, I like my Raiders. It's a biased pick, but I like my Raiders. I mean, Chargers fans have to be worried about the way they lost that game to Denver last week. That was just not good. And I think that the Raiders' offense is as good, if not better, than the, than the Broncos' offense. Defense is the problem for the Raiders, so we might see, could see a high, higher scoring game. Unless the Raiders can take the lead and maybe control the game with Josh Jacobs. Which is, which is the game plan, I would think. Early lead and then jump out to an early lead and then try to control the game with the run. Mm. Nick likes the Seahawks-Bills game. Where's Seahawks-Bills on my schedule? Yeah, that's an early game in Buffalo. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day in Buffalo. Low 70s? Seattle minus three. Who does everyone have in that game? Yeah, two division leaders, Nick's pointing out. That should be a good one, too. Seahawks on the road all the way to the East Coast, playing an early game. All right, here's the first five boxes. Good luck. So obviously, vet commons like Darius Slayton, Ryan Tannehill won't ship. But parallels, these greens aren't numbered, like Christian Kirk will ship. Obviously, all rookies will ship. Will to win inserts will ship. Richard Sherman and Troy Eggman will not ship. Devontae Parker will ship. And there's Jalen Hurts. He'll definitely ship. That's green at Jalen Hurts. We'll sleeve up rookie parallels right away. These will be top-loaded, too, before they're sorted and shipped out. This is kind of a long break, so just in the interest of time, I'm going to try to breeze through this as quickly as possible. NFL debut, Clyde Edwards-Elaire. He's pretty good. That's for the... Where's my printout here? That's for the Chiefs. That goes to Richard. Here's the final printout once again. All right, so Chiefs, Richard, once again, Richard Cromwell with that. That was Jared Stidham. The only vet commons that ship are uh, are Mahomes and Brady's, by the way. Our shipping team will kind of sort that out, but I'll try to catch as much of that as possible. There's Antonio Gandy-Golden for Washington. Is that fluorescent orange? It is, 24 out of 25. Terrell Davis, John Elway, Ed McCaffrey. That goes to Denver. That'll be for Steve Birch.
huge comeback for the Broncos last week in the fourth quarter. Um, since the Chargers are in L.A., they were on TV. I actually switched to a different game, thinking that the Chargers just had it in the bag. They did not. There's a Tom Brady. There's another NFL debut, Clyde Edwards-Elaire. NFL debut Clyde Edwards Elaire goes to once again Richard Cromwell. It's just the base version of it. There you go, Cameron. And there's Tom Brady for the Buccaneers, Karen with the Bucks. There's Jalen Ragor Green. Clyde Edward Delair base. All of those add up. Jalen Ragor for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for James Majority, one of his last spot mojo teams. And an autograph. The rare autograph out of blaster boxes. No, not, no autograph a box. The fewer and farther between. Rookie scripts even. Keyshawn Vaughn for Karen and the Buccaneers. And there's our first Joe Burrow. Who is likely, if he keeps it up, is probably going to be your offensive rookie of the year. Jay Kenny with the Bengals. Unless Tua just lights it up. Which I suppose is possible. And there's Tua right there, right on cue. Tua Green. And Packers going for it on fourth and inches. Just give it to Aaron Jones. They can't stop him. They don't. They're going to throw it. Quick little pass and caught. That's kind of a difficult pass there, too. There's Tua Green for Miami. That'll be for Ryan Ryder. There's Justin Herbert. I guess Justin Herbert could be a good candidate for Offensive Rookie of the Year. I guess maybe numbers-wise, he might have better numbers than Joe Burrow. Chargers, that's going to be for Ryan Ryder. It's good to see a few, few rookie quarterbacks out there slinging it around. It's hashtag good for the hobby. Isaiah Simmons, green rookie. Uh-oh, breaking news from Bleacher Report. Nick's reporting for COVID violations, Raiders are fined $500,000 and John Gruden himself fined $150,000. Wow. The charity is getting a lot of money this year. And they, they were stripped of a six-round pick? Hmm. That I don't like. that one bit um now the Gruden find though is what it's like it's if I did my math right 150,000 divided by 10 million dollars a year that he makes I think he makes 10 million a year that's a uh what 1.5 percent of his uh of his yearly salary which I guess is kind of a lot what's the average American salary apparently is Fifty fifty six thousand five hundred sixteen. So I guess it's not nothing for the average for the average American salary. That's a eight hundred and four hundred eight hundred and forty seven dollar and seventy four cent. 
fine. I don't want that fine. If you're an average American, making the average American salary, you don't want to give up 850 bucks. Yeah, the, the I mean, I think the I think the Raiders didn't do themselves any favors though. I feel like they they had some earlier COVID sort of violations earlier in the earlier in the season. So I don't think they're they're kind of in the NFL doghouse. Yeah, that pick seems like a little. I could see increasing fines, but a pick. I mean, even if it is a sixth round pick, you can find you. Can, there's some. There's there's a lot of value in the in the sixth round. Packers touchdown. They're up 13-3, and with the extra point. Good, 14-3. Yeah, Brady, yeah, Brady was a exactly. Brady was a six rounder. open. This Bud Light commercial is kind of creepy. What if your cardboard cutout ended up back at your house? Any other games of interest this week? When well, we got Broncos Falcons. All right, nothing too exciting there. We talked about Seahawks Bills. That should be a good game. Bears at Titans. Does that intrigue anybody? Somehow Bears have a five and three record, and Titans are five and two. I feel like the Bears just just haven't gotten that uh that quarterback situation figured out. I think Trubisky had some wins. But didn't look good doing it. And Foles looked good for a second. And then their last two games haven't been too impressive on the offensive side of things. I don't know what they're going to do there. Ravens, Colts, another good uh, AFC battle there. Ravens are 5-2, and two, Colts are 5-2. and two. Baltimore is only uh, minus 2. That's also interesting. Tiggs thinks Pat's Jets are interesting. Yeah, that's a Monday night matchup. I don't know if that's two and five Patriots or 0 and eight Jets. Nick Stover, what's going on? Two Nicks in the chat. I don't, I don't think Pat's and Jets doesn't move the needle for me. I mean, it's Monday night. I'm going to watch it. It's all I got now, says Tiggs. Patriots only minus seven in that game. I don't know when the last time the Patriots were just minus seven against the Jets. Actually, no, the, the Jets have had some decent. I don't know. A prime Brady era team with a team as bad as this Jets team. It might have been minus 14 in different years. Do the Jets go 0-16, ladies and gentlemen? I saw that question on PTI today. What's more likely to happen? Jets 0-16 or Steelers 16-0? Both are hard. It's hard to go over the season. It's hard to win all 16 games of a football season, too. Generally, Teddy... Uh, 
brakes ship out a few days after it breaks. You'll get an automated tracking number when that happens. Um, there's more details on the shipping process in our frequently asked questions section. If you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and go to, scroll to the bottom left hand corner, the frequently asked questions section is there and it'll give you even more details. There's Josh Kelly for the Chargers. That'll be for Ryan. Wait, where, was, where was I again? Oh, yeah. So what's more likely to happen? Steelers 16-0 and or Jets 0-16? There's J.K. Dobbins for the Ravens. That'll be for Daniel Festivan. Both are difficult. 16-0 and or 0-16? What does everyone think? Give me your thoughts. There's Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy for Denver. That'll go to Steve Birch, by the way. I don't know what I'd take. What's what's more likely to happen? Pittsburgh 16 and 0. Or the Jets 0 and 16. I suppose I Jets have to win at least a game. You force me to choose one. I think I would I would go on the Steelers side. Yeah, you think 0 and 16 is more likely? Yeah, that's that's just an especially bad team. At least I feel like the the last 0 and 16 team was that Cleveland or was it Detroit? They actually lost like really close games. Teddy, I have no idea. If you want more information on that, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, click that support button, and they'll be able to find a tracking number for you. If your email got hacked, I would go to your account right away and update your email address so you'll get all of your order confirmations and your shipping confirmations and all that, and to contact us as well. I would update your email right away so you can contact us and we can use your safe email. Yeah, I don't, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not re really too deep into the shipping department, so I have no idea how that operation works on, a, on that specific of a question. All right, well, Michael P. Ryan for the Jets. And Lawyer Malloy, Patriots. Yeah, I feel like Jets... I guess it's unlikely that, that 16 or, or 0 and 16 will even happen. There's got to be a loss in there somewhere. Patriots, that goes to Karen. And there has to be a win in there somewhere for the Jets. And there's a Joe Burrow Green, Jay Kinney, who got randomized the Bengals. I think we looked at the Jets schedule a little bit earlier. I I can't really see a win happening. <laughs> Sorry, Jets fans. Adam Kupperman. Here, we'll go through the schedule when I'm opening up packs in the next five boxes here. We've got a Devin Duvernay, Mosaic Parallel, Rookie. That's pretty nice. Ravens, Daniel. All right, onwards. Next five boxes. We're halfway through. This full blaster case break. Schedule's in the chat, folks. Pin to your chat and drop by Nightbots if you want to know what's coming up. Remember, we do have a uh, break credit promo tonight. Check the website for details, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Basically, we have to fill a certain amount of breaks, and the people in those breaks, then this, this is one of them too, and the people in those breaks will be eligible for break credit, but we have to fill a uh, certain amount of breaks. Check out the details either on the break schedule or on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can see how much money we're giving away to. 600 bucks. All right, so Jets are uh, hosting the Patriots. I can't see them beating the Pats. They're going to the Chargers. I can't see them beating the Chargers. Then they host the Dolphins. I can't see them beating the Dolphins. Then they host the Raiders. I can't see that either. 
Then they're going to Seattle. They're not going to win in Seattle. Then a second road game in a row to the Rams. I don't think that's going to happen either. Then the Browns. They're hosting the Browns. Then they're in New England to close out the season. Now maybe at the may, maybe they beat the Patriots if like the Pats are in the last week of the season if the Patriots are like out of the playoffs and they just want to rest players or not risk any injury to their key players of the I don't know maybe same with the Browns too maybe the Browns are in a in a, in have locked up a playoff spot by then although second to last week maybe they wouldn't rest Patriots might be their only shot at the end of the season. Unless they stumble into a fluke win. Where can they get a fluke win? Maybe against the Browns they can get a fluke win. You know, I mean, and this is thinking, I mean, this is assuming that every every team is, is, is relatively healthy without any major injuries. Steelers? Let's go, let's take a glance at the Steelers. Steelers, we got, they're at Cowboys. They got to beat the Cowboys. Then they're hosting the Bengals. They got to beat them. At Jaguars. Steelers will beat the Jaguars on the road. Oh, and then they host Baltimore again. That's that's an interesting match. That's where they might get a loss. Maybe Baltimore doesn't want to get swept on the season. Even though it's in Pittsburgh. No fans. Or limited fans in, in Pittsburgh, maybe. Either way. Maybe the Ravens deliver in the first loss. But then the Steelers host the Washington football team. That's got to be a W. They're in Buffalo. That could be interesting depending on where Buffalo is at at that point of the season. Then at Cincinnati, they got to beat the Bengals. Hosting the Colts. That could be an interesting matchup. Could be some AFC implications there maybe. And then at Browns, which I think they should be able to take care of unless they're resting players. So maybe... Maybe two losses for that. That's an incredible season. Big Ben makes that kind of difference. He has healthy quarterback. It's a quarterback-driven league, folks. Do we... Uh, yeah, I think we usually get a majority of, uh, of upper deck hockey releases, Nick. All the major ones, anyway. Even some of the non-major ones. At least a case or two. That uh, series one sounds like something that would end up being more on the personal side of things, but we might do one group break on this side. Grant, you entered a break without an account. Is that all good? Yeah, I mean, you can check out as a guest, but I think you'll get more features if you uh, create an account. I think you'll get automated tracking emails if you're lucky enough to get a hit and we got something to send you. But no, you don't have to make an account. Save a Brady here for Karen and the Bucks. NFL debut, Clyde Edwards Elaire. Another one for Richard and the Chiefs. And the Packers up 14 3 on the. He's got a high ankle sprain. Kittle's out. Nice chase, Claypool. That'll go to the Steelers. Michael Gallucci, who's a who's a Steelers fan. Steel curtain in the chat. Whenever you see him, 
Another Clyde Edwards Elaire. Your seals are looking good, Michael Gallucci. They're looking pretty, pretty good. There's another card behind there. There is not. There's Jordan Love, rookie green for the Packers. Ryan. And we got another rookie autograph, KJ Hamler from my rivals, the Denver Broncos, Steve Birch. And that is looks like a gold parallel. Is that out of ten? No, it's not numbered, but oh, pretty nice. There you go. got a fluorescent orange James Morgan 17 out of 25 nice J-E-T-S Jets 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 Bob with that one I think the uh, I think the silver lining for the Jets though I think they've accumulated a lot of draft picks have they not I thought they did just with various trades and deals that they've made. I think the Dolphins, too. So, I mean, I don't know if Adam Gase keeps his job by the end of this season. There's Joe Burrow, another one for Jay and the Bengals. But, yeah, so I think if, uh, you know, if they, if they get, like, a new coach in there, if they get a new coach in there, You know, maybe that maybe that front office and a new coach can kind of devise a good way to to use all those draft picks. There's Derek Brown for the Panthers. That'll be for Michael. NFL debut Jalen Ragor for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for James. All right, and the final five boxes, ladies and gents. Almost there. Another interesting game. Uh, Dolphins at Cardinals. Dolphins are four and three. Cardinals are five and two. Tua versus Kyler Murray. That should be a fun matchup in the desert. Cardinals are minus four and a half. Wow, wide open. Marquez Valdez Scantling. With the extra point, Packers will be up 21-3. You know, I feel like a lot of people are like, hey, why, 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 aren't, why, aren't, uh, why aren't the Packers getting Aaron Rodgers more weapons? 
But maybe they, they really do believe in... Well, having Devontae Adams there is... Definitely opens things up for everybody. Maybe believe in, they believe in those other receivers. And then with Aaron Jones healthy... Oh, he was wide open. He, he was actually... Marquez Valdez Cannon was almost waiting for the for the uh, the lofty pass from Aaron Rodgers to fall into his lap right at the end zone. Couple more boxes. When Nick Mullins made his first start and torched my Raiders, I'm kind of salty that he's not like good. <laughs> I, th I think I, I think was it a was it a Thursday night game? I feel like I was on air with you guys during that game. Man, I think I think I. I lost a lot of money on that game, I want to say. I think I was like, yeah. Rookie quarterback out of where? <laughs> He's no Brett Favre. You know, the Raiders got this. I think that was the best game of his career since then. And Mullins has it. If he plays decent, I guess he's got some Kittle around and stuff. But it, it, maybe Raheem Mostert, too. But... Nick Mullins, I feel like, has a chance to take Garoppolo's job. But I don't know if he's taking advantage of it right now. He's going to run out of time. Oh, they were running clock, I see. There's Brandon Ayuk, Green. Joe Burrow, base for Jay and the Bengals. Footsteps. That's not going to help Nick Mullins. There's A.J. Dillon Green.
All right, last two boxes coming up. Break number, uh, pick your team number 28. I think there might be another one up in the store. Should be, could be, will be. There's my guy, Henry Ruggs. He's really changed the Raiders offense, really stretches the field. Stay healthy, Henry, stay healthy. Let's got my Raiders. Jay Kinney does. Jay Kinney has my Las Vegas Raiders. CJ Henderson for the Jags. That'll be for Daniel and the Jaguars. Patrick Queen for the Ravens. And, oh, Jerry Judy, NFL debut silver for Denver. That's for Steve Birch. The Patrick Queen for Daniel and the Ravens. Could be a big, big part of their, their defense for years to come. And there you go, boys and girls. That was Pick Your Team number 28 of 2020 Panini Mosaic Football. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you next time for the next break. I'm Joe. I'm out.